Uh, good afternoon, students. I am very happy to meet you in this uh, afternoon session. I hope uh, you are well and fine at your home. Uh, today, I am going to complete uh, uh, the first prose, uh, The Night the Ghost, uh, brought in by James Grover Theobald. Okay. Uh, for the past two class, I line by line, I explained the uh, story and I gave the hard words in this lesson. Okay. Uh, so, uh, afternoon session, I think so. Okay, listen the class. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I will give the pattern. Okay, definitely I think uh, you have got the uh, message of uh, home test. Uh, so, you, so uh, what are the pattern? I will tell you that pattern. Uh, then, after completing this uh, lesson, we have uh, uh, only uh, one page more. I will try to complete it somewhat fast. Okay, uh, so come to our uh, lesson. Uh, so, I gave uh, some study question. I think so. You have uh, revised uh, first unit uh, poem memory lines. Have you studied? Okay, good. Uh, then, uh, paragraph. Yes, have you studied the paragraph? Good. Uh, so, today uh, you read the supplementary, supplementary paragraph. Okay, supplementary one paragraph today, Wednesday. And another paragraph uh, the next day. Have you understood how many paragraphs are there? For supplementary, two paragraphs are there. Okay. Uh, so one paragraph will read uh, today, Wednesday. Another one Thursday. Have you understood? And then uh, Friday class, I will give you the uh, next study question. Have you understood? Okay, listen. Uh, listen to our class, The Night the Ghost Garden. It's about here. Yeah, a personal story of uh, the narrator, okay, James Grover Chuba, okay, narrator, uh, brothers Herman and Roy, uh, narrators, brother Bodwell, narrators, neighbors. Uh, when you are reading a story, the characters are very important, okay. So, uh, each lesson, uh, we are reading uh, so many characters. So, uh, keep it in your mind, all the characters, okay. The night that goes in uh, by James Grover Chuba, these are all the important characters, okay. Uh, what happened because of the sound, okay, uh, this narrator got confused and went for so many uh, illusions, yes, so many uh, thought in her in his mind, yes, finally what happened, you have seen, yes, a police came, like that, yes, come, beginning when the narrator was uh, coming out of the bath, uh, tub or bathroom, the time was uh, early morning, uh, 115, early morning, 115, at the time he heard a sound, okay, in the dining room, okay, someone was uh, uh, just uh, running around the uh, dining table. At the time, at first uh, he thought it was uh, his, uh, his brother uh, Roy or his uh, father. Uh, Roy was expecting a uh, return back from uh, one of the states of America, Indiana, okay, here the capital of Indiana, that is Indiana uh, police. Uh, he thought maybe uh, his brother or father and later he thought it may be a burglar, okay, strange sound was going on. Then finally he thought it may be a ghost because uh, he could not see what was moving there. Uh, uh, then uh, what uh, steps uh, he took means he called his brother, one uh, who was sleeping well in his room. Then mother, he did not wake mother but first brother to uh, get some, uh, got some uh, company. Uh, to go down and see what was going on. At the time, the, the, the this shadow or something that sound came to the staircase. At the time, these two brother, brothers uh, just uh, rushed to the room and uh, just uh, closed the door, slammed the door. At the time, mother got up and asked, what was going on? Boys, what were you doing? Then, uh, mother, they uh, said that it was, sometimes it was here, they, she heard the sound in the dining room. At the time, uh, uh, this, uh, our narrator said it, it was a butler. So, butler. So, he called, uh, he just threw the uh, shoes at the nearby house and called uh, them and they informed the police. They are Bordwell's family. Neighbors' houses, Bordwell's. The gap is very uh, narrow gap, very small uh, distance, these two houses. So, they both, both well called the police, then the uh, police uh, came to the house, yes, then uh, the police started to uh, search 
At first, they, this family did not open the door. They just demolished or uh, uh, demolished the, uh, this door and came inside the house. And finally, they did not find anything in that house. Any strange things they did not find. Uh, when it was going like this, they heard a creaking sound. When the searching was going on, they heard a creaking sound. That was uh, narrator's grandfather in the Arctic. Okay. Uh, so, so uh, last class I uh, told you what was the condition of the grandfather. A uh, grandfather uh, in his mind, okay, he was in a civil war, okay, in American civil war. This American uh, civil war uh, uh, took place uh, uh, from 1861, 1861 to 1865. It is uh, uh, in uh, North uh, Province, uh, uh, the states of North uh, Province, they were in uh, favor of uh, uh, United uh, States. Okay, you all know very well. Uh, United States of um, the United States of America, they have uh, 50 states are there. Okay, how many states? There are uh, 50 states together called as United States of America. Some examples are. Uh, uh, California, Texas, uh, Florida, Washington. Okay, this uh, North Province uh, uh, pe uh, this, uh, people uh, thought they need a united uh, country, uh, but this uh, southern uh, part of the uh, United States, uh, nearly eleven states, uh, they protested against that they need a confederate. Confederate means this eleven uh, uh, the states they need a separate. The reason is uh, these uh, two provinces, northern province and southern provinces, are different in their uh, two things. One is uh, uh, slavery and the states' rights. Okay, now each state, uh, America, actually a federal form of government. Okay, like our India. So each state has their own rights. The uh, the sender should not interfere in their states' rights. Okay. But here, the northern province and southern province. Southern province, they need a separate, okay. In what way means? In slavery, okay. The southern people were against the slavery as well as states' rights, okay. The central government may not give the uh, rights to the states. That is why these people protested. That's the reason these five years they had a civil war in the United States of America. At the time only, uh, I already told you two groups. Who are the two groups? Okay, uh, George Maid. George Maid was the army officer. George Maid was the army officer for the government. Then Stonewall Jackson was the Confederate general. Confederate means southern part, southern uh, southern province. How many uh, states? Eleven uh, states uh, against those uh, government. Okay, have you understood? There was a civil war. That was the incident here. Our grandfather was in the same condition. Okay, northern province in, in favor of uh, who is the general uh, George Main. Who is the general George Main? The southern province Stonewall. Okay, at the time what happened? The soldiers they were uh, uh, to uh, withdrawing uh, from the war. Okay, sometimes if there is a, a war. Uh, yeah, the failure are those who are withdrawing, they will escape from that place. It was the condition because of the uh, there. Okay, all of you take page number 32. All of you take page number 32. Okay, uh, 32, right hand side from lost uh, uh, second number, second paragraph. From lost uh, second paragraph, all of you see that. <coughs> Uh, no sign, no nothing, said the cop who had first spoken to mother. The lady seems historical. They all nodded but said nothing. Just looked at me. In the small silence, we all get a creaking in the Arctic. I said, they had yet a creaking in the Arctic. Grandfather was turning over in bed. What's that? snapped Joe. Five or six cops sprang for the Arctic. Though before I could intervene or explain, I realized that it would be bad if they burst in or grandfather unannounced or even announced he was going through a phase in which he believed that general meets men under steady hammering by Stonewall Jackson were beginning to retreat or even desert. Okay, they are uh, 
withdrawing here the desert means to leave a military without permission what is the meaning of desert to leave a military without permission without getting the permission the soldiers they are leaving the uh, this uh, military because of war okay then take the c that uh, thank you when i got to the hotel things were pretty confused grandfather had evidently jumped to the conclusion that the police were deserters from means army trying to hide away in the attic he bounded out of the bed wearing a long flannel nightgown over long woolen pants and nightcap and a leather jacket around his chest now he came to the conclusion this police were deserters from means army so this grandfather okay uh, started to wear the uh, flannel gown Uh, flannel gown and long woolen pants, as well as cap, as well as uh, to protect uh, his chest from a leather jacket around his chest. Have we started? Uh, he is getting ready for the war because Meath's army, the northern province, uh, is controlled by Meath. These uh, soldiers are deserting from the war, so he is getting ready, or he wants to chase that soldiers back to the war. Okay, come. Uh, yes, the cops must have realized at once that indignant white-haired old man uh, who belongs to the house, but they had no chance to say so. Okay, okay. Uh, so without uh, they, they, this grandfather did not give any chance to those people to speak. Before that, he shouted, "Back, back, yeah, cowardly dog!" Roared the grandfather. Cowardly means. and uh, lack of uh, they are very uh, feel uh, fear some people okay uh, easily get frightened back yard cowardly dog roared the grandfather back the uh, lines yard gudan he livered cattle with that he fetched the officer who found the cedar he a flat and it smack smack alongside his head smack means right the meaning of smack He has smack refers to a sharp blow. Smack means a sharp blow. Okay. Uh, so without uh, hearing out, uh, the, uh, these were police. Uh, he started to uh, beat those people. Okay. So Siddha got a, uh, a beat along his head that sent him sprawling. Okay. Sprawling means uh, uh, right. The meaning of a sprawling uh, to sit. Sprawling means to see with the limbs spread out. To sit with the limbs spread out. Such a way, uh, the sitter was sitting there. Okay. Uh, then send him sprawling. The others beat him, retreat, but not enough. Grandfather grabbed the sitter's gun from its holster and let fly. Okay. Uh, so actually, uh, I already told the uh, this uh, day was yeah, a new moon day. Okay, uh, the light in the attic is uh, switched off. It's full of dark. At the time, the police entered. He thought our narrator's grandfather thought they were deserters. Uh, so he gave a smoke mat to one of the uh, police. And uh, next, uh, all the police uh, withdrawing from the uh, place. At the time, he took a uh, Siddha's gun uh, from the hall. It's holster. Holster means what is the meaning? Means the case for carrying a tool, particularly a gun. Okay, uh, a place to keep the gun. That is called as holster. This means you should know. Uh, in police, our uh, state police, we know very well. They will keep the gun in a particular place. That is the holster. He just grabbed the gun from the holster and started to fire. Okay. The report seems to crack the rafters. Okay, uh, rafters. Smoke filled the attic. The cop cursed and shot his hand to his shoulder. Somehow we are finally got downstairs again and locked the door against the old gentleman. He fired once or twice more in the darkness and then went back to bed. Okay, then what happened? That they just withdrew from the attic and they locked the door. They came out in the darkness. Uh, And this uh, grandfather did not realize they were police. Again, he shot for two times. Uh, yes, 
That was grandfather. I explained to Joe. Joe means here one of the police officer. Out of break, he thinks you are deserters. Deserters means I already told them to leave a military without permission. That people are called deserters. I will say he does said Joe. Okay. The cops were reluctant. Reluctant means you know you are very familiar. Unwilling. Reluctant means unwilling. The cops were reluctant to leave without getting their hands on somebody besides grandfather. The night had been distinctly a defeat for them. Okay. The police, this American police, they are, they were really a failure for them. Uh, they even uh, they touch only the grandfather other than any other they did not find anyone in that house okay uh, they really i would say defeat for them furthermore they they obviously did not like the layout something new and i can see their viewpoint for me uh, they begin to poke into the things again the reporter a thin faced wispy man came up to me i had put on one of my mother's dress okay uh, they could not uh, come to the conclusion. Again, they went for uh, searching or so many things, some, anything was there. Finally, the reporter, they brought uh, two reporters. Uh, so, the one, one of the reporters came to uh, this narrator. At the time, narrator was wearing uh, his uh, mother's dress. Then what happened? The reporter looked at me with mingled suspension, uh, suspicion and interest. Just what the hell is the real uh, load down here by? He asked, I decided to be frank with him, he we had a ghost, I said. He gazed at me a long time as if, okay, listen. Uh, so, uh, what uh, he did not understand, the reporter finally came to uh, our narrator and asked, what happened in your house? Okay, you finally disclosed, uh, he, in this house we had a ghost. Okay, he gazed this uh, reporter, okay. Uh, you who ghost, uh, he was uh, seeing uh, uh, in a mingled uh, mind or uh, he was seeing in a ghost that we very long time ghost out and we believe, okay, the existence of ghost. As if uh, I were a slot machine into which we had without uh, results brought a coin. You had the experience of a coin phone, is that not? Good. Uh, some years back, I think so, recently only, uh, nowadays we could not see any coin phone. Rarely uh, some place we could see, but when I was uh, doing college times, okay, during 2005, that time, this call, a coin phone was very famous in uh, all the places, okay. We put one rupee and we can uh, make a call. Nowadays we have so many advanced technologies are available. Okay, come to the conclusion. Okay, here, okay, uh, so weight machine, okay, if you uh, put a uh, one rupee coin in the slot of the weight machine, if there is no result means, how you will see, yes or no, what happened, no results, yes or no. Like that, uh, the, here that they are comparing how this reporter is seeing this, uh, our narrator, it's like uh, uh, putting a uh, one rupee coin in the slot without getting the uh, results. The corpse followed him, the one grandfather shot holding his now bandaged arm, cursing and bl uh, blasphemy. Blasphemy means right the meaning. <clears throat> Blasphemy means lack of respect. What is the meaning of blasphemy? Uh, blasphemy. Write the meaning of blasphemy. Uh, lack of uh, respect. Okay. So uh, this uh, Siddhar's uh, hand was uh, bandaged because he got the shot. Uh, then he was uh, cursing. Okay. Uh, bandaged, cursing, and blasphemy. I am gonna get my gun back from the old bird, said the Siddhar cop, yeah, said Joe. You and uh, you and the woods, I told them, I will bring it to the station, house the next day, okay, already. You know very well, uh, this, uh, this grandfather's condition was entirely different. Narita said, tomorrow I will bring the gun to the station. What was the matter with that one policeman? Mother asked. After they had gone, grandfather shot him, I said, okay. Uh, mother, uh, already we, I told her, uh, she, uh, she was in a peculiar character. She was a peculiar character. At the time, finally, she asked what happened to that hand. Finally, our narrator said, that my, our grandfather shot him. What was she demanded? I told her he was a deserter of all things. Uh, all things said mother, okay. He was such a, a nice looking young man. Mother is uh, giving compliment that he was a very uh, nice man. And grandfather uh, shot in his 
hand. Okay, come. Uh, and we'll share, can we do the paragraph? Grandfather was uh, fresh as a daisy and full of jokes at the um, uh, breakfast next morning. Uh, next morning, what was happening? The night got over. Okay. Then the next morning, our grandfather was uh, sitting like a daisy. What is this daisy means? Uh, and white flowering plant with a yellow red and a white petals. Okay. Uh, it's a wild uh, flowering plant with a yellow head and a uh, white uh, petals. Okay, yellow and white petals. Okay. Uh, morning, if you see morning flowers, um, how laughing is, yes? how bright, okay, how energetic that is, yes? it looks, yes, like that the grandfather uh, in such a way, uh, next morning breakfast was sitting. We thought at first he had forgotten all about what had happened, but he had not. Okay. Uh, at first, uh, this, uh, for, uh, this grandfather did not uh, say anything. Uh, this people, the family members thought he uh, forgot all about the incident. But what is happening? <clears throat> Over his third cup of coffee, he glared at the hermit and me. What was the idea of all? Idea means idea of all. The corpse tarry put in around the house last night, he demanded. Why the police uh, came and uh, just uh, coming around our house uh, last night? Okay. Uh, at first he asked this uh, question. Okay, he demanded. None of you bother to leave a bottle of water beside my bed. Do you ever realize what it costs for a thirsty man to look for water in the dining room last night? He had us there. Okay. Have you understood that? Finally, who came to that uh, dining room? Our grandfather was in search of water because last night they did not keep uh, water in his bedroom. That is why he came down in search of water. Have you understood that? It is uh, just an yeah, imagination in the mind of uh, these people. Normally, uh, we think in the same way, okay, uh, most of the time. So, okay, if you are uh, moving into the dark place, uh, we uh, come to the conclusion like that. This is the uh, story, okay? Then uh, the night, the ghost got in. Have you understood? Okay, uh, good. Uh, so, uh, I think uh, you are very uh, familiar with the story. Uh, so, uh, read the short answers. Uh, read the textbook first, okay? Uh, don't, uh, first uh, read the textbook. Well, uh, lower chores, uh, again, again and again I said uh, words are. Uh, so pronunciation is very important. At the same time, uh, read it well. Okay, reading is very important. After that, read the uh, short answers. Have you understood? Okay, uh, we will go for our assessment test. Okay, uh, whether you got the message or not, I don't know exactly. But if anyone conducts like that, uh, this may be the uh, question pattern for you. Okay. Uh, see, students, uh, when I was uh, teaching. Uh, go for the textbook reading. First unit prose. Okay, if you have that assessment test, it may be first unit. Okay, first unit prose poem supplementary. Have you understood? So prose means uh, is uh, first flight. Uh, I uh, in synonyms or synonyms I never give a choice. Uh, so a book in between also I mark so many words. At the same time glossary box also you read it well. Okay, uh, so I will give only the word. You should write that meaning of that word for synonyms and antonyms. Have you understood or not? Because very less number of uh, synonyms. Okay. So read them. Next one is uh, short answers. Book in between short answers. Book back short answers. Read them. Uh, then we have a paragraph for uh, uh, prose, poem, supplementary. We have paragraph. Okay. Uh, so in this uh, first unit prose, uh, we have two paragraphs. Read the two paragraphs thoroughly. But book back, no exercises. Okay, exercises I am not asking. But you have one writing skill. Uh, last year, uh, your teacher taught uh, report writing. Have you understood? Report writing. Have you studied? Good. So, report writing, page number 11, we have report writing. One example is there annual uh, sports day by Saran. Annual uh, sports day. Yes. Uh, so read that one as well as we have uh, uh, some uh, exercises are there so reading okay uh, two classes uh, uh, 
uh, I gave, uh, I think so last year 9th A and 9th B, I took the class and I gave this one, report writing, report writing you should write only in uh, past tense, uh, past tense whether it may be passive form or active form that is not a problem but you should use uh, past tense, okay, report already happened, that one you are going to write, then a uh, grammar means uh, model auxiliaries, ninth grade itself you study, yes or no, model auxiliaries, uh, yes, can, could, shall, should, may, might, yes, what are the uses of this one, you know very well, may means permission as well as may possibility, yes, uh, like that it will come, okay, you know very well. Then next one is uh, active to passive or uh, active and passive voice, active and passive voice, uh, so book back exercise you do well. From there only we will ask question. Okay, then poem. Poem uh, memory lines. Okay, learn memory lines well for your assessment test. Then uh, book back a paragraph. In paragraph, describe the journey of your life as depicted in the poem by Henry Mann. That that one. Then book back uh, question answers are there. Read that one. Then tempest. Read the paragraph. Tempest. Read the paragraph. Two paragraphs are there. Uh, write a detailed uh, sketch of Prospero and uh, how Prospero made his unique being uh, repent to reach his due to that. that paragraph also uh, read them. Have you understood? Uh, so, you know, if you got the uh, message, no problem, or else definitely I think so you will get that. You will have your assessment uh, test next week. So, read this one, uh, write the uh, test, okay. Uh, just a uh, practice, uh, writing practice, okay, you are uh, not at all uh, writing anything, so writing practice. Uh, I completed uh, uh, two units for you, okay, two units, uh, some grammar I want to revise, okay, after discussing with your uh, teacher, uh, I will teach you the grammar, okay. Uh, so, uh, from next class onwards, we will move into the uh, next lesson, okay. Uh, so, uh, read well, okay. Uh, so reading skill and improve your reading skill uh, those who are poor in writing um, uh, don't be uh, so uh, legetic or lenient okay do your work uh, perfectly improve your handwriting improve your reading skill okay have you understood them okay good uh, so today i am conclude my uh, class okay uh, be safe in your home thank you students